Hello. Hello. Oh my god, you can see my shampoo bottle. Anyways, you guys. Um, let me see if maybe lighting could be fixed here. I think that's better. Okay, so I have a wedding to go to. And I have 30 minutes to get ready. Not ideal, but... Anyways, in my suit, it looks quite yellow. It looks quite yellow on camera. It's not actually that yellow. But anyways, okay, I have a lot, a lot to do and very little time. So, I'm going to get started. This is going to be chaotic, okay? But I wanted to film a little, you know, get ready with me for a wedding. Because who doesn't love those vlogs, you know? Um, yeah. So I think that I might actually change your guys' angle so that you can see me better. So let me just do that. I'll be back. Okay, so it turns out that I didn't actually like that other angle. So I'm just going to be doing my get ready with me here. And I'll just put my mirror like right here so that I can see it. Anyways, we're starting off with literally a really, really deep moisturizer. Um, I'm using Nivea. I have my Origins Overnight Mask, which I love so, so much. But I'm not going to be going with that one just because I want something that's just going to moisturize the shit out of my face. Okay. I put it on my eyes. I put it everywhere. I love this shit, it's amazing. Let me actually tie my hair back. You know it's getting serious when you tie your hair back. Okay, cool. Now I'm going in with Vaseline. Vaseline? It's actually Vaseline. Okay, because it's a French word. But then I put it on my eyes. I have like really dry eyes and so you put like the moisturizer on first. I wonder if my audio actually would be better if I put my AirPods in. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, my AirPods are like connected so hopefully you guys can hear me better. So I'm just putting Vaseline around my eyes. It just locks the moisture and I have pretty dry eyes so that is necessary for me. Now I need to be putting contacts in. Honestly, I cannot remember the last time I wore contacts. It's literally been a while. I mean, like I go out and stuff, like I go with my friends, but I just don't put like contacts in anymore. Not too sure why. Like which eye of mine has astigmatism? I think that's this eye. I mean, I hope it's that eye, cause. That's the eye that I'm gonna be putting it in, so I'm gonna actually put my contacts in and I'll be back. I think that's actually like the quickest that my contacts have ever gone in. But I have like really, really, like my eyes are tearing up. I have really, really dry eyes. So like when you put, like this is why I don't wear contacts, is because like it just hurts. Beauty is pain. I'm not endorsing this though, so. Don't put, don't put them in if your eyes hurt, of course, but I'm going to be taking my glasses with me, of course. So, oh my god, I'm like stressing out, I have so much to do. I can do this. I can do this. I believe in myself. I do this all the time to get ready to go to uni, if not all my makeup is of course, I will show you how to make a brush, 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 brushes. Anyway, so I'm going to start off with my Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade um, Porcelain. And I like to just put it like that underneath my eyes. And then I take my e.l.f. concealer brush. It's just there. It's literally called a concealer brush. And I like dab it. Is anyone else like super quiet when they're doing like the corners of their face? 
like when I'm like in the corner of my eye, I'm like, like I don't talk. Anyways, I like to drag this up like that. And I look a little bit like the Joker right now, but that's intentional. So it's all good. Okay, cool. And then I take my L'Oreal BB cream, my anti-redness one. And I'm just gonna be putting that on. Cool. I feel like you guys might be a little bit like far from me. So let me like move closer here. Um, yeah, so then I take like my finger and I just kind of do circles with it, whatever. Just massage it in. It's green, but it matches your skin color so perfectly so i do love this so so much i wanted to buy another another one like this is almost done now but i didn't buy another one because every time i use this product on my forehead like i'm doing right now i always always get acne so like i mean i have to use it right now because i don't have any other product but um yeah i just feel like it gives me acne so i'm not going to be repurchasing it as a phenomenal product you know like it does its job so well but i do feel like it has like some pore clogging ingredients so maybe someone with like more expertise on that can maybe tell me if it is actually pore clogging or not but why does my nose feel like running when i have to get ready this is not the time okay and then i like take this and i dab it down like that really weird like line that you see there i blend it all out everywhere i blend it all out Yeah, so I'm just blending my concealer out everywhere. Seriously, I don't know what's happening to my nose right now. It's like actually acting up, but you won't stop me. So like, that's what I did there. And honestly, this light is kind of like throwing me off. Yeah, I'm definitely going to keep that light off because... That was throwing me off for sure, but I mean, I'm going to like spot conceal now. Just anywhere that I feel like might need some extra coverage. So I'm just using the same. I don't know if that's like a good thing or like I personally use the same color on my under eyes as I use on my face. A lot of people don't do that, I've noticed, but I do it because I like my face looking coherent. I don't like having super, super bright under eyes. I like having everything matching throughout. My eyes are like already suffering and I don't know how I'm gonna... Okay, actually I'm gonna need to turn this back on. I mean, I hate it because I don't like getting ready in yellow light, obviously. It like ruins your perceptions of what you actually look like, but... As you can see, I'm just... Putting my base there, okay? And now that the base is there, I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. This is also in the shade Porcelain. These are my Morphe brushes. I believe I do have a review on YouTube of these brushes. If I don't, I will totally, totally upload one. And then I just take a more angled brush for 
kind of the corners of my face okay cool perfect and now that that is done i am going to actually skip straight into blush Okay, so that last little bit of the um, video was muted. I basically did my blush. I used the Too Faced one in the shade Makeup and Be Merry. I did my highlighter in the shade Angel Kisses. And then I went over my highlighter with the Master Chrome from Maybelline. Um, next thing that I'm going to be doing. So I don't really do my brow. I'm going to go in with... It's a little dramatic if you ask me. But I have so many makeup shades. Now the thing is I'm going to a wedding and not a dalat, so I do have to do something a little I think I'll go with like this palette. Yeah, I'm not doing that. So let's do that. I'm gonna go in with the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics palette and I'm gonna use the shade Just Barely. Actually, I'm going darker, I'm using Good Vibes. Some person a really long time ago told me that your eyeshadow should never match your dress. I don't know who the heck told me this. I just know that someone told me this. So I'm going in with the shade. Good vibes. Um, that's it. I don't really want to go in with. Um, I mean, I feel like I should. Okay. I'm taking just barely, and I'm putting that in my crease. It's dark. It's lighter than. The shade that I Morphe Cosmetics has the best eyeshadow brushes and I don't fight anyone on that. So I'm going in with the shade Drippin', that one right there. I always forget. Yes, I need to put it here. I'm always, always scared of using, like, glimmers and stuff like that because I know I'm always scared of putting makeup on my face because I just, the makeup vibe doesn't really, like, suit me that much. So, I really always need to, like, just be putting on makeup that's not that glam because that doesn't suit me so i'm going in with the Too faced shade silver bells that one right there and i'm just gonna be putting that one over top just to add a little bit of oof to my makeup look kind of looks a little bit like ardeen makeup but i'm kind of digging it
Don't ask me why I'm doing RD makeup right now. I don't know. But I kind of just really like it. It's kind of super cute. I feel like I also kind of just ruined my whole look. That's fine. Nothing a little blendy blendy cannot fix. Just blend your life away. I might have ruined my makeup look. This is why this is why I don't wear makeup. This is like the exact reason why I don't wear makeup on my eyes. You know, I don't like it on purpose. I don't wear eyeshadows because I know I know I'm gonna mess it up. It doesn't look horrific, but like mm, it looks a little horrific. I kind of like it though. It's like growing on me. It's kind of growing on me. I kind of like it. Okay, I'll just kind of feel it out for the next little bit, and I'll see if I like it or not. In the meantime, I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal mascara. Oh my god, do I have time to wear falsies? I'm so gonna wear falsies. So screw that, I'm not going with that. I'm gonna take my essence. This is just an eye pencil. I'm also so scared of like touching my face after I've like done my Apparently, I just want to ruin my makeup today. I'm trying out new things. And I don't think a wedding is the time to try out new things. Also. Okay. That's cute. I like that. I like the white. Okay, I like that. I'm not putting it at the tops of my eyes. I'm not in the mood to go that risky. I am just not in that mood. I'm also not in the mood to do eyeliner, am I? No, I'm definitely not in the mood to do eyeliner at all. So. Where's my lip brush? I'm supposed to have a lip brush. Well, it doesn't really look like I have a lip brush right now. Okay, we're gonna have to do this without a lip brush then. Going in with my Essence lip liner. I showed this in my vlog. probably like which vlog um the one where we went to walmart mm, my sister and i okay Anyways, it's the Essence one in, in the shade Charming. So Kat Von D has these lip... What are they called? Liquid lipsticks. Okay, and this one is... I don't know if this is the liquid lip formula or which formula this is. But it's Lolita. I have the full version right here. I literally just bought it, but... Why not use this up? I also don't have a lip brush, so I'm gonna be using this angled brush that I literally never use. 
I literally, I don't have a lip brush. Okay, well, I can't just scrub my fingers. Well, actually, I totally, totally could. Ooh, it's really dark. Hmm, I kind of like it. I kind of don't. Interesting. It smells really good. I mean, it smells really good, but I don't know if I would... Well, I do like it. It's like such a pretty, like, berry color. How cute is that? I love it. That is so, so cute. Okay, time for my falsies. So I keep all of my falsies in my Morphe bag. Oh my god, when did I buy this Sephora one? I think I bought this in the last. Oh my god, I literally have not used this. Why do I why did I why do I do this to myself? I don't know false is enough to have that. So I'm gonna try out two different well I have two different like Morphe lashes. So I have DTLA. So pretty, and I have Malibu, also so pretty, but kind of thinking that this is more of my vibe today just the less dramatic one just because i feel like my lips and my eye makeup is already doing like the most wow i can't believe i have this sephora lash adhesive and i literally don't even know wow anyways i am Somehow, I literally am so out of practice with... I just want to see what they look like first. Hmm. I mean, those aren't like as dramatic as I would like. So let me try this one. Let me see what Malibu looks like, because maybe I'll like Malibu more. Oh yeah, Malibu is really, she's there, that's for sure. It's a bit much for me today, I'm not feeling like drawing everyone's eyes to me, so I'm just going to stick to DTLA. So the reason why I remember buying this lash glue, and like I had the one from Kiss, and then I remember that I wanted to buy this Sephora one because it's black and that's just such a nice blend with everything you know so that's why I wanted to I'm just so sad that I like I stopped wearing lashes so I mean I hope it's not money down the drain because I'm literally wearing it right now blow on it a bit I actually know that this, well, well, it's not out here right now, but my um, lash glue from Kiss actually turns blue when it's ready to be put on. And this one is not color changing, I don't think. So I'm just gonna... Okay. Oh, I just want to let it dry. Also, I'm so sorry if you guys can hear like background noise. But all brown families are loud. What can I say? Okay, I'm happy that this is on there. Oh my god, I just yanked it off. Okay, that's because there's literally glue on my great I ink it off
please stay. Please stay. Nope, it's not gonna stay. Well, I'm too lazy to fix it, so... Perfect. Perfect. I do like it. I like these lashes. They're kind of dramatic, but I kind of like them. I'm also not sure if they're my vibe, but they're gonna have to be now. They're already on. And I ain't about to take them off and do all that again. I have noticed that I really don't put enough on the ends. I've always done this. I just am so bad at this. Maybe it's not my fault. Maybe it's the Sephora Lash Glue's fault. Okay, anyways. Because it is a nice lash and it does cover up all of the like... This is getting too long, so I'm gonna put my lashes on. I'm gonna put mascara at the bottom of my eyes, and then I'll be back. So I actually forgot to film. <laughs> I actually went to the wedding, and this is me at 1 a.m. when I'm back home now. But I ended up wearing this dress. Super cute. Here's my makeup. I put on these earrings. And yeah, I mean, half of it is like worn off now. But I really do like it. And yeah, I'm so tired now. Thank you for watching. Um...